Hi, this is Jim Sackman, your Focal Point Business Coach, and this is another of our Success Friday videos on inorganic growth. And, you know, this time we're going to talk about leverage, and I want to approach leverage in the same way I approach strategy, which was to give you a general context, and then some specific way of going about it. Now, remember, we're going to use our cross-replacement strategy as a way of evaluating leverage. So let's talk about uh, context as associated with leverage and start with what leverage really is. And it's really about the way you can apply money best to your organization to give the greatest improvement. So if you spend a you know, million dollars, you know, what's the best way to spend it? Now, there's two dimensions about that. <clears throat> One is where you spend it or how you spend it. And the other is, um, is it a one-time or an ongoing uh, expenditure? So let's, the first kind is whether uh, that first dimension is all about, is it revenue generation expense or is it cost reduction? Now, cost reduction is a lot more uh, easy to understand uh, from, a, from a leverage standpoint because every dollar of cost reduction becomes a dollar of profit on the bottom line. You know, revenue enhancement, uh, you have to filter that through the, uh, the rent lens of, you know, how much it costs to make or deliver the service and product, and therefore um, you get actually less dollar for dollar, but it's easier to come up with ideas for revenue enhancement and they scale more. Uh, so a lot of money gets spent on revenue enhancement. Now, in terms of one time and ongoing expense, that should be pretty clear what that means. Um, the one thing that you may be thinking is, how do you have an ongoing expense that's a cost reduction? And let me give you an example. Uh, so I work with some benefits people that work with employees to lower their workers' compensation expense by providing better benefits. And it's actually, in many cases, cheaper to provide better benefits and have employees uh, get health coverage that way than have them go through and fire workers' comps claim. So that's, uh, that's one example. Now, on the revenue enhancement side, the most basic is you know, uh, hiring a salesperson. And then you have to set goals around how much that salesperson needs to make to make that revenue uh, enhancement dollar worth spending. So that's the kind of thing we're going to talk about next time is, is how to spend that money and how to ev imagine it's going to work for yourself. So this is Jim Sackman from Focal Point. Change your business, change your life, and have a great day.